River Kilo His Ashes is paying homage to our founder Alexis by being extremely messy because woohooing your boyfriend's younger brother on your boyfriend's bed is insane behavior. Is it possible to say that Roscoe's chicken and waffles may just be a bit messier than her late mother, Alexis Volkov? Because I'm starting to think so. You asked to be WHAT by Dexter. I'm forgetting she's grown now. A little to groan. Her wicked session with Dexter left her in a great mood before heading to work. Our twins Aurora and Oasis were on their play mats chatting with one another. They'll be able to communicate better soon because today is their birthdays. Them aging up to toddlers. I can't believe this. Didn't River just die yesterday? Shanna Kialoha was busy at potion making when our egg gained what would probably be her last infant milestone. Ooh, that's cool Ezra. Just interrupt a big moment. How cute. Aurora just gained the first word milestone. And I don't want to see any fuckery from you Oasis. Look at Sage being excited for his sister. Don't forget that she has more infant milestones than you did. Autumn and Shanna were hoping that at least one of their twins would gain the first steps milestones. And by Autumn and Shanna. I mean me. I am convinced that this milestone is literally impossible to get. Autumn was so upset that these precious infant days had come to an end. She did anything to have her daughters be this small and cuddly for just one more day. But she was excited to get back to working more and for them to have some independence of their own. Meanwhile, Shanna was gonna try to put Oasis in a back carrier as she worked on potions. Oh, anyways, one thing Autumn wanted to do was try nursing for the last time, but to her disappointment, Aurora wasn't interested. How you gonna say no to Cindy's? Whatever girl, let's try with Oasis. Unlike her twin sister, she latched onto her mama with ease. I can sense that Oasis may enjoy one-upping her older sister. Ooh. Gross. She's a what? Oh hell no, age her up immediately. Oh yeah, I forgot Autumn is having a midlife crisis. Let's just pretend we didn't see that. Not much was planned for today. Just a chill day enjoying the last moments of the twins' infanthood. Shantam also wanted to wait for the twins to age up before pursuing buying the home in Evergreen Harbor for sale. And she just got the first word milestone too. Oasis, you are so devious. Along with celebrating his sisters, Sage was also busy with his spellcasting studies. And Chris was being pissed off for whatever reason. Oh no, poor Sage. He's experiencing Christopher rampaging for the first time. Oh my god, he's so unbothered, just minding his own business and playing with his sisters. Rock and Roll got back home from work, sweaty, stinky, and pissed off at herself for what she did with Dexter earlier for the second time. On top of that, she just wasn't feeling well. But Autumn and Shanna certainly were upstairs. I have a feeling you'll be entertaining your sisters a lot in the coming years, Sage. Meanwhile, the Volkovs had a visitor. It's Ezra. Oh my good baby, what are you doing here? Did you come all this way to celebrate your niece's birthdays? He hadn't seen the twins since before Alexis's funeral, and was hoping that his official introductions to the both of them would be successful, unlike his one with Sage, who still barely has a relationship with his uncle. You can pretend Uncle Edward doesn't exist Sage, but don't do my hot disappointment like that. They didn't really say much to each other since Aurora was napping and Sage's mouth was on fire from his hot wings. But Isra was hoping to change that. And Christopher is rampaging. And Rabbit Fever is napping on a bench outside. Because that makes sense. Whatever. Autumn still wasn't downstairs yet. Still busy upstairs making real magic happen with Shanna's wand. When Aurora woke up from her nap. Ezra then put Rora down and started talking with Sage, who immediately begged him for money for toys, little opportunist, I love it. They then started kicking the soccer ball together in the doorway, right next to the baby. Ezra, please put that child somewhere safe, man did not care. They continued kicking 
the soccer ball around, and Ezra was just so happy to finally be bonding with his nephew. Autumn finally finished with Shanna and got ready baking a cake for her daughters. Walking right past her brother and right into the bathroom. Jesus Christ, it must be genetic at this point. Oasis, I seriously do not care. You're about to age up anyways. Autumn finished up the strawberry cake she made for her daughters. Set it down on the middle of the table. And waited patiently for her family to gather around to celebrate the girls. And that's when she remembered that she walked right past her brother brother. Like always, she was so happy to see him, and especially for the twins' birthdays. He asked for a proper introduction to Oasis, and, well, why do all of Autumn's children hate Ezra? At least Aurora tolerated you. Alright, time to age the twins up. And Oasis is still crying. It fills my heart with joy. Since Aurora was born first, she'd blow out the candles first. Upon aging up, Aurora was given the silly and fussy toddler traits. And now, Oasis, now quit crying and let your mother hold you. Upon aging up, Oasis was given the silly and wild toddler traits. Oh my god, Alexis and Jacob sent gifts to Oasis from beyond the grave. Alexis is still with us, and Zayden, and Edward, and Sawyer. Where's Aurora's gift? Wow, that cake looks fucking amazing. Alright, time to go into CS and see what they look like. Aurora's birthmarks are really making a statement. I still see an even mix of Autumn and Shanna. I know she's going to turn out so cute when she's older. And Oasis, again, is her mama Autumn's twin. I don't see a drop of Shanna, except the hair. I gave them a quick makeover. And I was very pleased with how they turned out. So cute. Yes, the infant days were now over, and Autumn wasn't ready to let them go. But luckily for her, it seems like there will soon be another infant joining the Volkov household. Holy Mother of God, remember the 21st night of September is pregnant. But, wait a second, she woohooed with her boyfriend Zayden and his brother Dexter within just a few hours of each other whose baby is robot carrying. 